This will continue to happen in the USA. This lady, Makila Lucky, age 25, found dismembered in November 2023 in Cincinnati, Ohio. Ladies, it's time. It's 2024. Get trained and get armed. God bless the family. Damn. We now know her name months after someone first discovered her torso back in November. The Hamilton County coroner identified the woman at a news conference today. WCP of nine news reporter Valerie Lyons was there. She's joining us now live from Blue Ash. Valerie, that woman was from Cincinnati. Tanya, Michaela Lucky was just 25 years old. She was also a mother and she was often seen in the West End. Those are all details investigators didn't know for months. That is until a few weeks ago when the Hamilton County coroner got a call from the woman's sister. And just really wanted to know who she was. After months of not knowing. Being able to put a face to the body was, I think, huge for us. Investigators now have the answer they've been searching for. Michaela Lucky, North Fairmount Jane Doe, finally has her name back. What we really want is some justice for her and her family. Hamilton County Coroner Lakshmi Samarco says the case took a big step forward last month when someone saw a Facebook post asking for information on the woman found dismembered in North Fairmount. That post made its way to Lucky's family, and with a name to go by, investigators ran Lucky's DNA through the state's BCI database, and it came back a match. I know there were questions before about how can somebody go missing and, and the family not know or the family not uh, report it. It's because she had been estranged from her family. Investigators learned the 25-year-old was often seen in Cincinnati's West End, and she had a history of drug use and mental health issues. You know, people might, might have seen her in, in a situation where she was using uh, drugs and, and known her that way. Samarco so also revealed one of the last times Lucky was seen alive. Last fall, when a family member saw her getting on a metro bus in Lincoln Heights, Samarco so says that was likely a day or so before Lucky was murdered. We do think it was somebody known to her. And we know whoever it was left Lucky's body scattered in the woods. Her torso found in a tree line in North Fairmount. Her head found in a wooded area just blocks away. This person was meticulous in um, the way they carried out this crime. We would like to hold somebody responsible for this heinous crime. Now, we also learned today Lucky sometimes went by the nicknames Kayla or Bubbles, and investigators hope now that the community knows who she is, someone will be able to help them track down her killer. For now, live in Blue Ash, Valerie Lyons, WCPO. A crucial reminder here, help is available. If you or anyone you know is a victim of domestic violence, you can call the phone number there on your screen or simply text the word START to 88788. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.